Now we're going to add the ball factory. Okay. The ball factory, we're going to add a ball factory. A ball factory is a new kind of object. It's going to be a new class. It will be a stateful class, just like the ball and the box and the container. And it will turn out that only stateful objects can add new objects to the container. We'll see. Uh, here's the, our interfaces again. Here's our container. Okay, so I have two new methods in container called add object obj and or add stateful object obj and it adds the given object the effect these are excuse me this again is a returns void which means it return its me its return value is meaningless its effect is that it adds the given object to the objects field so here given an object obj we're going to add this world obj to the objects field. And similarly, add stateful object changes the stateful objects field by adding this, this object to the list. So these, so these methods, when they are called, really, really add objects to these fields. Okay, so ball factory is going to be one of these, just a plain old stateful object. It's going to get, it's going to get all the signals from Big Bang, th from the container, right? The, the signals, the events come from Big Bang to the container, and the container sends them to all the, the objects in its list, uh, which is of what of which one of which is going to be a ball factory and so now what do we need to do we need to uh, the ball factory will need to know about the container it will need to know the, about the box it will need to know the speed of the balls that it's going to create the ball factory does not respond to ticks it does not respond to mouse events um, and it is invisible if you ask if you ask it to paint itself on the scene S, it will just tell you, it will just return the scene S. So here's a place where something happens. If on key, if, we, if, the key, if you hit an N, Big Bang will send the key event N to the container. The container will send the key event N to all of its stateful objects, including this ball factory. And if it is, if it's an N, then the ball factory here will uh, call another method called add ball, okay, which I've separated out into a help function, into a help method, uh, because, it, uh, because it's easier that way. All right, one, all right. one function or method, one task. So our, the task of um, this on key is to catch the key event end, and now add ball actually does the work. So here is add ball. It says, go look at the box we're in. Remember, the factory knows about the box, and it's going to uh, get the uh, center of the box from the box. It's going to extract the x and y coordinates of the center from the box, and it's going to construct a new ball with the, at the appropriate location, telling the ball that it belongs in this box, and we're going to tell it the seed, the speed, and now it's going to send a message to the container saying, would you please add the ball to your objects. Now the ball is a flexible functional object. So the ball factory uh, gets the key and then creates the ball and then asks the container to add the ball to it. And now, now we have to set up our world. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We build a box. We build a ball. No, tell the ball to start in that box. Okay. Now we are going to build a container. Um, it's going to have one uh, ordinary world object, namely the ball. It's going to have one stateful world object, namely the box. Now we're going to build 
a ball factory. Now remember, the ball factory has to know both about the container and the box. So we build a new ball factory. And now we tell the container to add that ball factory to its list of stateful objects. And now we're good. Now we're good. So here's a puzzle. Why couldn't we add the ball factory, build the ball factory the same way as we built the box and the ball, and then add it to the container? Here's the problem. The ball factory needs to know about the container. But up here, I can't, so I can't build the ball factory until I've built the container. Right. So I can't possibly build the ball factory before the container and then put the ball factory in the container. The container knows about the ball factory and the ball factory knows about the container. It's a circular link. Honest to goodness cycle. We'll see some pictures of this. In the meantime, let's run this guy. Notice that the balls, new balls come at the center of the box, wherever the center is. Should, let's see, the next ball should appear about there. Yep, there it is.